Courtney, it's so great to see you. We we set this up because we both of us, myself and Tyler, wanted to talk with you. We wanted to get your wisdom. We wanted to get your insights. And so this is just a great day to do that. And I I have been I've been wanting to do this this time with you for quite some time. Your knowledge, your your wisdom just just impacts it still impacts me. I mean, the, the several meetings that we've had together, anything you've told me, I've, I've remembered. I want to give you one that I use every time. I use, of course, not to advertise it, but I use a smartphone, use an iPhone. And when I go to take pictures, I know what that grid is about now. <laughs> and, I, and I did not know to put those things into thirds. Right. And that is a beautiful thing for me to to... I, I'm thinking a lot about that. I'm thinking a lot about your advice and how to set things up, how to how to make things look. And I have a question that I want you to, and I know Tyler has some great questions too, but I wanted to ask a question and I wanted your insight on this. And I think a lot of people would like to know this. What is the thing about making a video that, that captivates you as as a person that i mean you're you've won emmy awards with this so what is it that that you could give us that gives us insight wisdom and when you look when you're doing this whole thing what is it that you're feeling seeing thinking about i'd like to know you you know that's a great question you when I, I wasn't originally, when I came to, you know, I'm an OU alum also, not just, right, you know, right. not just a adjunct lecturer there or anything, but when yeah. I came, originally I was going to go into radio, which is, yeah. And then I picked up a camera and it was something about telling a story visually. That's um, interesting. Yeah. That, that just grabbed me immediately. I, I think we all know. You know, I'm going to throw Don Moore's name out there. Sure. We met Don Moore, but he was over the program that I went through and that I now am a part of. He put threw a camera on my shoulder and it was just immediate. Immediately, I was in love with that that thought of telling a story. I'm, I'm a storyteller anyways. I think, you know, we've all talked, all of us have talked enough. You all know how much I like to tell stories and how much I like to talk. Mm. Uh, I think it's part of being an Appalachian is we just like... <laughs> Yeah, stories. we like good stories, don't we? I mean, we like yeah. good tales. It's <laughs> what it's what I think. I think it just makes us even more human. But but it, there's something about that. That's true. I mean, we we grow up in a culture that appreciates good stories. Yeah, I mean, we yeah, I, I think we still have that here. And, and so to be able to go out and it's not just like my story I'm telling, I get to tell other people's stories. Mm doing this and, and doing it in a visually compelling way to keep people interested. It's really weird. I, I was reading and talking to some other people about, you know, being in my part of the industry that most people who work in my field as a, a, a photographer or videographer, mm -hmm. they can see, they can see images in their minds. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't see images in my mind. I see words. I I'm one of those straight those the different type of thinkers that you know it's a voice or or words i don't actually see images most creatives interesting. that's interesting mm -hmm. most creatives see actual images like directors they see images other photographers see images so when i'm talking to fellow photographers and they're like you don't see images i'm like no i have to see it as i'm shooting i don't think of it beforehand yeah, yeah I get that. I get that too. That's interesting. Wait a second. I've got to hang on to that, man. I tell you, <laughs> you just like, wow. <laughs> this is yeah. Um, so my my question with that would be, are the words that you view or come into your mind are those emotional attachment words that you want to put together as you tell the story? Yes, that's and that's when when I go shooting, I shoot for emotion or I shoot I shoot for. One of my, my mentors, one of my mentors, Darren Gerlach, you can, mm -hmm. you can look him up. He is a, he is a multiple award winner videographer. He used to work in Baltimore. Now he's in Boston. 
and he produces documentaries, but he, we worked for Sinclair together and he was like the company mm -hmm. chief photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, and he came down and he was like, he, he instantly got me. And so I spent a couple of days with him and he taught me how to look for emotion, look for sound. You know, we shoot with sound because sound brings people in. So uh, one of the things that, that I use since I don't see images is I use that piece of advice from him. I, I shoot with my ears. I listen for things, you know, and he told me, he said, where there's interesting sound, there's interesting pictures. That's, yeah, this is too cool, man. <laughs> God, I, I tell you where my, go on with your story, because I want to, I've got, my, my mind's just like boiling right now, because I've got so much going on, it's, it's, it's like popping off right now, so, so go on with your thought, and then I want to go ask back something. to Tyler, yeah, emotion is a big thing, because emotion, and this is something I, I teach to my students, we, you know, we have a goal. Our goal is to affect our audience to, you know, there's what's known as the process message. We want a message. We're trying to get a message across, whether it's, you know, I mean, the story, but there's a point to the story that we're telling, always mm -hmm. a point to the story. And the way we connect the process message or the, the theme point that we mm -hmm. want the audience to, to gather is through emotion. It's through a character and through emotion. So I always go for some emotional shots and that, any emotion, you know, that could be happy, sadness. Unfortunately, where I worked in news a lot, a lot of that was, you know, bitter or, you know, sympathy, yeah. things of that nature, or drama. But we all connect that way. And so I think when I go for shots, you know, for different composures and everything, it is specifically to, to get a reaction from the audience for that point, you know some way or somehow so i can pinpoint that message and get that message in their head right that's that's really interesting so i want to go back on something so used to be in learning styles there was the vark i always remembered it as vark v-a-r-k so you had visual you had audio you had reading and you had a kinetic mm -hmm. and how we learn how we pick up information i uh, i was also i was always a video audio that's why I always thought about it because I couldn't like, if you go to do something and you're, you're wanting to know how to do it, like, can you read it from a book? Mm -hmm. Do you just need to jump in there and learn as you go, like with your hands and mm -hmm. be kinetic reading, of course, would be from a book. Can you listen to somebody give you instructions or do you just have to watch them? Right. Which would be the visual, right. But being video, visual audio and this is the old style i i'm not sure what they're doing with it today but if i can watch a video and someone can can talk to me while while i'm watching i'll learn it forever that's how i can remember what people say because i remember where they are the emotions mm -hmm. that they have and i'm not sure when you said that that was really interesting because i don't think I don't think in in like I don't go to make up a video or to do a photograph. I don't think of the shot before I take it. I take it. I see it as it's going on. Yep. Because it's bringing up a certain emotion, mm -hmm. isn't it? Is that yeah. what you're? That's what yeah. you're talking. That's about. how I. That's exactly how I shoot. That's that's exactly how I shoot. And so. So as a, as an award winner, that's what you would almost tell anybody making a video. That's what you would tell your students too. I mean, you're bringing up that emotion when you shoot. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're looking for that. That's what you're trying to convey. Mm -hmm. That's the artistic side, isn't it? Because yes. it's, you just don't. Yeah, that's fascinating because that goes down to, I'm thinking a couple of things here. See, that's that's reminding me of Michelangelo, who always said that when he would do the sculpture, the sculpture comes out of the marble. Mm -hmm. So that tells me he really did not see it before he went to the marble. He just allowed his emotion to flow through him and through his hands to allow for that to be brought out. I think with what him saying that, that would be you know a, a good assumption to have. You know, I know, again, I know other people have, you know, they can see visually a lot of your Hollywood directors, a lot of your television producers, they can see a shot 
before and they'll set up the shot and they'll draw out the shot. I, I shoot off the cuff. I'm, I, I think that's why I fit so well in news more so than, or documentary shooting more so than non or and then fictional shooting. Cause I don't see that happening unless I am right on set and I have to make is it right that, then and there. Is that a difference? Like, is that a difference between like, where's, if we talk about the contrast between those who see the shot and those who take the shot sort of almost see it as it's occurring or see it before it's occurring mm -hmm. is the person seeing it before it's occurring, like in your mind creatively, are they focusing upon the emotional side and then creating that? Is that what's happening or, or is it that, in my point of view, I would think that they would any, especially a well-produced show, a well-produced show is, you know, the scenes are very, very thought out from the composition of the camera or cameras. If they're going to have multiple shots in the scene, some shot, some shows are shot, you know, with single camera. One parks and recreation is one. I think only murders in the building, a more recent one is shot single camera, Right. Uh, but you know, a lot of your shows are shot with multiple cameras, just depending on, you know, who's producing it, how they want to produce mm -hmm. it. But I think, I think a good producer, a good uh, director of photography, they mm -hmm. definitely take it from emotion 